welcome, I start by going to stock media to drag down a picture background then extend to 18 seconds. Now add a video track then drag down a picture, right click to crop to fit then reduce to 3 seconds. Further click, go up to scale to 144 as shown. Click then go up apply pan and zoom as shown. Now choose the 16 to 9 aspect ratio then go up to click pan and zoom and adjust the grid as you see fit. Now go the right bottom corner to switch the grid from start to end then apply as shown. Right click to copy then add a video track and paste above. Further click, go up to mask, select circular mask. Hide the first picture for clear visibility, and go up to scroll down to increase height to 50, scale to 64 then scroll down to increase the blur strength to 1. Now go to basic, scroll down to rotation to apply keyframe point. Further move the playhead to 210 seconds, go up to rotation to apply keyframe then type 360. Click keyframe panel, highlight the rotation keyframe point then right click to apply ease in and preview as shown. Further right click to copy, add a video track and paste above. Now click, go up to mask, under mask, only go scale to type 44. Again, go to basic, click to the first keyframe then go up to rotation to type 360. Click the second keyframe then go up to restore back to zero and preview as shown. Now unhide the first picture then preview. Now highlight all three pictures, right click to copy, select track 2 then paste as many as you as shown. Now go to media then press and hold the alt key on the keyboard as you drag down same picture three times to change the pictures in each row until the last one is shown above. Further highlight each row, then right click to apply compound click to each row until the last one. Now go to effect. Then apply border effect to each pictures on track 2. Further click each picture, go to effect to adjust border blur to 1 as shown for each picture. Again, click each picture, go up to scale to 65 as shown until the last picture. Highlight all pictures on track 2, then right click to close the gaps as shown.
Further go to transition to apply ripple transition in between then reduce its duration to 1 second, click then go up to apply to all. Lastly go to effect, under shake effect, drag down drop bounce effect. Then extend within two pictures. Click to increase its speed to 100. Then right click to copy and paste as shown to get same result. To have free access to the template with multiple pictures kindly go to the description. Thank you, you are awesome.